Hello everyone, and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. How are you doing today? That's great to hear. Are you ready to sing our good morning song together? Stretch those arms out like airplane wings and fly to one side, fly over to the other side, fly back to the middle, and now take your airplane wings into a big circle out in front of you like this. Stretch up over your head, over to one side, back to the other side. One last stretch up at the top. Now let's bring the circle back down and sing together. If you know the words, you can sing with me. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. I hope that you're having a wonderful day so far. Before we get started, there are three things that we need to do quickly. Number one, turn on those listening ears. Number two, put on your thinking hat. Mine is right here next to me. I'm going to put it on top of my head and zip it up. And the third and final thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts. Will you show me how to do that? Boom, 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 boom. And now we are ready for circle time. Let me grab my pointing stick and let's go over the date. We'll start off with the month, which is right up here. Do you know what the month is? June. That's right. The month is June. And today is June 22nd. Let's move the chip over from yesterday, which was June 21st. Today is June 22nd. And right up here we have the year. There are two ways that you can say the year. You can say that it's 2021 but you can also say that it's 2021. Both ways are correct. Will you say the date with me one more time? Today is June 22nd, 2021 or 2021. Let's get our counting fingers ready and give them a little stretch to warm them up. Will you count the remaining days or the days that are left in the month of June with me? After today, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We only have eight days left in the month of June. Keep your eight fingers up like this, but let's put one finger away. Now we have seven fingers and we are ready to sing the Days of the Week song. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's go down to the bottom of the chart and let's go over the days of the week together. I'm going to give you the sound that the day starts with and you can say the day with me if you know. Yesterday was M. Monday, the first day of the weekday. So that means that today is t Tuesday, and tomorrow will be w Wednesday. Let's sing Today is Tuesday together. Will you sing with me? Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday all day long. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, all day long. At the top of the chart, we have a brand new season that I put up yesterday. Do you know what the new season is? Summer! That's right, friends, it's summertime. Yesterday was the first full day of summer. At the bottom of the chart, I have a picture of the weather. So let's sing the weather song together. 
What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? I have a picture of a cloud with the rain falling because when I look outside of my window, it's a rainy day. It's not a hard rain. It's just a light rain called a drizzle. But my temperature chart is on orange because it's warm, warm and rainy today. Later in the, in the afternoon, the rain is supposed to stop and the sun is supposed to come out. But for now, this morning, it's raining. Do you also have a rainy day where you live? Or do you see something different outside of your window? Look outside and let me know what you see. Thanks for sharing the weather. Now let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. So yesterday, we went over this new letter. This is the first letter of the alphabet. Would you like to tell me the sound that this uppercase or capital letter makes? Let's start off with the short sound. Let's make that sound together. Ah, ah. And what about the long sound? What does the long sound sound like? A. And this is an uppercase or capital A. A makes two sounds, a short sound and a long sound. Are you ready to see what's inside of the letter box? Inside of this box, I have something that starts with the letter A. A. Here's your first clue. This is a type of a person that travels to outer space inside of a spacecraft. Do you know what it is? Let's see. I have an astronaut. So an astronaut is a person who travels to outer space inside of a spacecraft. This astronaut has a special space suit on, including a helmet. Astronaut starts with the letter A, A. This is how you write a capital or uppercase A, A. One more time. Yesterday, we went over this number of the week. Do you remember what number this is? Four. That's right, friends. Let's count to the number four together. One, two, three, four. And now let's count to the number four using the large bead frame. This week, we are going to be counting to the number four using the large bead frame. So we are going to be counting the green beads, which are units at the top. Let's count to the number four together. One, two, three, four four units. I wonder what we'll find inside of the number box to count today. <gasps> I have some flowers right here. These flowers are called daisies. They smell pretty nice. Will you count them with me? One, two, three, four. Four daisies. Now it's time to go over the sign of the week. Yesterday I showed you how to say ocean in sign language. Will you show me how? That's right, friends. Let's do that together. Ocean. So because the ocean is home to so many creatures, it is very important to keep it clean and healthy. In the past, we have talked all about taking care of the earth and that includes the ocean. 
But unfortunately, pollution and litter can be found both on the ground as well as in the sea. Plastic is definitely the biggest problem when it comes to water pollution because it doesn't break down quickly or easily and many sea creatures mistake plastic for food. For example, a sea turtle may find a plastic bag floating in the water and eat it because it looks like a jellyfish. Right now, there is enough plastic in the ocean to circle around the earth 400 times. But plastic does not only stay at the top of the water, it travels all the way down to the trench, which is the bottom layer of the ocean. Just like us, ocean creatures only have one home, which is our planet Earth, and it's our job to protect it and keep it a healthy and clean place to live. Let's check out today's work. For today's work, you are going to need two bowls or plates, some water, and you're going to need two sponges and a pair of scissors. You can ask your grown-up to help you cut each of the sponges into two fish so that they look like this. And then you're going to need some dirt and some ripped up paper and food coloring is also optional for this work. Today we are going to make two different habitats for the fish to live in, a clean habitat and a polluted habitat. So I'm going to start off by pouring some water into each one of the plates that I have. And again, you can also use bowls instead. And I'm going to keep this first plate a clean ocean habitat for the fish to live, but this one is going to be polluted. So in this bowl, I have a mixture of some dirt and some ripped up pieces of paper, and I'm just going to scoop the dirt and the paper into the clean water until it turns dirty and polluted like this. Next, I'm going to place one fish into the clean ocean and the other fish into the polluted ocean like this. I'm going to continue to add the dirt and pollution and sprinkle it around the habitat. And as you can see, the fish is starting to absorb all of the dirt and the pollution that's in the water. If you have some food coloring, you can also add it to the polluted water. And just observe the difference between this clean habitat, this fish is still clean. It hasn't absorbed anything. But unfortunately, this habitat looks very different. It's dirty and polluted, and as you can see, the fish has absorbed all of the dirt and the pollution that's surrounded in its habitat. Once you have finished this work, you can rinse off both of the sponges and let them dry and save them for Thursday's work. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. That poor second fish that habitat looked so dirty and polluted, and it looked like a terrible place to live. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up, and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. We have one last song to sing before we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to save your sponges for Thursday's work. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.